Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello. So, guys, we just wanted to send out our prayers and condolences to the families of these four Congress people. And, you know, it, it's just sad to see what's going on in this world. We're faced with so many things right now. Obviously, with all the earth changes that we see happening, there's definitely food shortages that are coming. Cindy's been getting uh, that that's something that we need to really be aware of because mm -hmm. there's going to be disruptions to the supply chain like we have not seen before. Mm -hmm. That's coming up. It, it feels right around the corner. They're pressing this into me like um, like it's just a really strong vibration. So even though I can't give a date, it's soon. It's soon. Yeah, it's very soon. So we have all that going on. We have all the tension between different countries going on. We have the internal tension as well. And, of course, we have the plague upon the land. So if you guys can make this out, and, again, I'm filming this on purpose the way I'm doing it uh, for you know reasons you guys could probably figure out. Uh, we've lost four people uh, that have been serving their country just recently, just the last, just really, just not long at all. You see, you had State Senator Jerry Ralph. He passed on. And, you know, he was a conservative again. Uh, we have Louisiana congressman-elect Luke Leto Letlow. He died at 41. Now, you know, to me, that's a young man. So just really getting into his prime. And, you know, again, you see the same cause there. And, again, he was a conservative, by the way. And we have R Virginia State Senator Ben Chafin, who passed on as well, and he was 60, I believe. I think Jerry w Ralph was a, in his 70s. Uh, again, succumbing to the plague upon the land, and again, conservative. And then we have Pennsylvania State Rep Mike Reese, uh, j who just passed on as well. Again, a young man, uh, very much in his prime, and also conservative. So we've lost these four individuals, so we want to take a moment to send prayers and best wishes for the families in coping with their losses, as well as, you know, those friends and even, you know, the members of their states, because the states themselves are going through a challenging time. And, you know, we live in a country of 50 different states, and we don't always agree, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But, you know, of course, everybody, I'm sure, is sending out their condolences. Yeah, they definitely are, you know, and this is really concerning. I mean, it's something we should probably do another show when it that talks about um, us supporting our immune systems, you know. I mean, this is, I really wasn't expecting this, you know, for uh, to come up in such a short period of time. Yeah, and that could definitely have a big impact on things, as we know. So as far as... Mike Reese, uh, he, he did just pass on on Saturday uh, afternoon. His family was by his side following an apparent brain aneurysm, and he had tested positive on December 7th. Uh, again, 42 years old, seems to be relatively athletic uh, and in good shape. And then we had uh, Luke Letlow as well, and he was a congressman-elect, and he was 41, looking forward, you know, to serving. Mm -hmm. And then we have State Senator Ben Chafin, and he was 60, and he also passed. And also Senator Jerry Ralph, who was 76. Um, it's imperative, guys, in these times that we are in tip-top shape in the best health we can. And, you know, again... You want to boost your immune system, <laughs> make sure you know what you're consuming. You mm -hmm. don't want to take in a lot of simple sugars, things that cause inflammation. You want to have a way to release tension and stress. So exercise is awesome. We should be exercising you know, at least five, six days of the week. Mm -hmm. And also, obviously, you want to have some sort of meditative practice, yoga, tai chi, qigong, uh, that you, that all those things can help so much with getting us into the right side of the nervous system, as we've talked about. 
Uh, again, eliminate the processed foods. You have to have your immune system in top shape when we're going to be faced with what we are being faced with. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And, you know, like Mike said, it's it's the preservatives and the, the high fructose corn syrup. That really, really needs to go. That's probably the number one thing you can do, like today, right now, is not eat that food full of preservatives and high fructose corn syrup. Also, boost your vitamin D, boost um, the NAC, NAC, I forgot what it, it's, it stands for, but you can get it on Amazon. Um, vitamin D, vitamin C, NAC, there's many things we can do to raise our immune system. One of the reasons why there's a spike in people passing on in the winter is because of that immune system suppression when, you know, many places, you know, we're not out in the sunshine, we're not getting that, that vitamin D and that you know, just the the light that comes from the sun, because again, the sun is a relay, it's a transmitter, so it's giving us downloads all the time. And the sun has been cut off for many of us uh, through conditioning. We lather on sunscreen all the time. All the meanwhile, we're lowering our immune system, not getting enough vitamin G D as well. And so there's a lot of things to take into consideration. Uh, lowering your exposure to certain um, EMFs, so to speak. Like when we are, when we're done, we shut our phones off. We shut them totally off. Uh, I have a friend that puts her phone every night in an iron uh, pot, mm -hmm. you know, and covers it in the fireplace. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are signals that can disrupt our fleet, our sleep. If you see like the blue, blue light that blue comes light, off, right. I mean, that could disrupt your sleep big time as well. And again, when, when the sleep is disrupted, it's going to lower the immune system again. Mm -hmm. So there's so many things bombarding us right now in so many different ways, so many things up in the sky over our heads and just penetrating through most houses. Mm -hmm. As we were talking about, we're lucky enough to be in something that is mostly earthen yeah. at this time, and that also helps, as well as being down into the ground a bit. Um, actually, you know, the walls that surround us are 18 inches thick as far as when we're sleeping of, of solid earth and uh, concrete and adobe. So, you know, that is a big plus for a sound night's sleep. And, of course, so many people in the cities, I, I mean, I couldn't do it anymore. There's no way I could do it with, like, hearing car horns at the middle of the night and not just all the traffic and everything. But also just with... Everything else that's around us, because all these things are, are lowering our immune systems and making us susceptible. So now is the time when, you know, we have to boost ourselves as well as possible. And you know, as I've shared with you guys, and we'll get something up on evolutionary soon, 10% um, of the American population expects to move this year. Mm -hmm. And they're moving mostly, and well, a lot of it's just kind of thoughts of self-preservation. You know, where where are we going to be the safest? Where are we going to be the healthiest? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people are moving from the inner cities to the suburbs. From the suburbs, they're moving out to the country. <laughs> from the country, they're like us. We're moving 50, 60 miles away from anybody. <laughs> you know, so that's that's kind of how it's going. Well, yeah, you know, you get to be so sensitive that you realize that you just have no physical tolerance to be around all the energies. I mean, you just learn to feel what your body feels like, it, like a, a zero state of energy where there's nothing moving into it. So you just become naturally more and more sensitive, and people are going to start reacting to that too. Yes. So we want to again send out our prayers and best wishes to the families and to all you guys too because you're our family, and we love you guys and appreciate you, and we want you guys to be healthy and to make it through these times intact, as we will eventually, as we've been saying, people will gravitate together in smaller units of like mind, and there'll be a whole new world that comes out of this, and this whole system is, is going to fade away. So be safe out there. Take care of yourselves in every way possible. And thank you guys for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Mm -hmm. God bless and namaste. Namaste.